Shalom, it's Rabbi Alex, and these are my Torah thoughts, and I'm sitting here recording on Tuesday, and Shavetta's is outside. The smell of it is just wafting into the room, which is perfect, because today I would like to share with you about the smell of the Torah. Our olfactory nerve is the best way, actually, to get an authentic sense of this seminal text. For the first 2,000 years or more of our existence, the Israelite nation was agrarian, so much so that other nations, such as the Egyptians, looked down upon us because we lived among the animals. The image of Moses holding the two stone tablets, you know that image, above his head, uh, seems not only wrong, but a little misguided. Stone, papyrus, clay, sure, they all existed at that time, uh, b but they were all missing that central component. Smell. As much as I love the smell of books and paper, it's not the same thing as the animal hide that was taken lovingly from a kosher animal, soaked for nine days, then stretched to dry and scraped of all of its imperfections. In all this time and meticulous preparation, the smell of where it comes from never fully leaves. It is our tie to nature. It is our tie to ceremonies like we read in this week's Torah portion, Achare Mot, which describes the elaborate rituals of the Yom Kippur sacrifice. Gathered there in that ancient prayer space of the tabernacle were not only the entire Israelite community, but all of their animals as well. So next time you are called on to, to read or bless the Torah, pay attention more than just to the beautiful scroll itself uh, that the Sofer used in its creation, but open up your nostrils. Breathe Torah in. That is our tie to our ancestors, to their elaborate ceremonies, and to their way of life. Shabbat Shalom.